Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. We are told to love God. What is the way? How do we show this love toward God? Deuteronomy says it over and over and over again and is translated in many different places in the Bible and it says very simply one sentence you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your might because you're my father I walk the line this is the way we walk the line now we have done great studies on the word love in the Hebrew the aha the father and the creation and all the other things that God does for us it's available to be read but let's look at the Greek for love the Greek is agape the three levels of uh, love this is the highest level and it means affection is caring having a feeling toward now some people think that just having a feeling is not enough well feelings are important nonetheless may not be enough but certainly very important it's not only affection but having good will toward a person toward God having good will toward him a benevolence toward him a great feeling of awe and reverence and worship benevolence and interestingly agape is defined as feast days so when we keep the feast days we are showing love to God that's very important these are the feast days of the Lord and we are doing what James says to do, do Remy, uh, show his uh, faith by his works. So when we keep the feast days, we show our faith, our love to God. It means favorite. Favorite among all the gods, small g, that people worship all over the place, here and there and everywhere. It basically comes down to one uh, demon. So we pick the favorite in that sense of all these others we choose the true real holy everlasting father in heaven and we are bound to one another when we have love we are bound to one another walk the line we are bound to uh, our father as in a covenant and a covenant is extremely important and all of these things are abiding within us. So love the Lord your God, heart, soul, might, and others. Let's take a look at some of these things here in a little detail. Let's first of all talk about covenant, because love has to do with covenant. Now, it's not always that overwhelming emotional kinds of things, but it is all the other and a covenant is a binding contract. Or walk the line, need a binding contract. A contract very much like the contract in marriage. When we don't marry God, we become his children. And we are, have a binding contract as his children. He has adopted us and we have that contract. Uh, especially a, a divisory will, a disposition. We have a new covenant with God, different from the old covenant of the ancient people, the ancient Jews. And this new covenant binds men to exercise faith in Christ, and God promises them grace and salvation eternal. So we have this bind, this is agape, this is love of God. We love God and we love him to the point where we say, you are the one and only period. There is no other. Again, 
marriage is a nice way of looking at it between two people. Now this covenant Christ set up and ratified as the definition goes by undergoing death. He established the, the, the covenant that will become our covenant, that did become our covenant, will in the sense before he did it. Hence the phrase to my blood by the shedding of which the covenant is established. We do this. We, as we go along with that shedding of the covenant during Passover season, particularly when we take the wine. The wine represents Jesus' blood. So we participate in his sacrifice and the contract by his blood each year. And so we, just as I said, feast days. So we go along with these feast days by keeping the same. But God doesn't want people to be uh, bloodied. His son did it for our sins. But aside from that, he wants us to do it that way, with the wine. So we have this contract. This is the love. Down as a contract. It's not a written contract. It's a contract that we renew every year and that we have with God, period. Now, these agape, and uh, as he says in there, with all your soul, with all your might, with all your heart. Heart comes first. Now, all we are, our whole being is the breath of life. It's like the soul. We'll get to that. It's a vital force to fix themselves in the minds of his hearers. Speaking, breath. That's why there is a connection in uh, God speaking and his breath of life. The uh, phrases, the life which is lived on earth, and other, the blessed life in the eternal kingdom, all of these things of life, the breath of life. Destined to enjoy the messianic salvation. Endurance gives a better life under the word. We love God. With every breath we take, we love God. Our whole soul, our whole being. We have a fear of God, which is to fear and revere. We love God with the inner man, the mind, the will, the heart, the intelligence, the heart mightily. As he says here, with all your might, all your soul, all your heart. And the soul is the, considered the living being of a person. The life, the self, the person, the desires, the passion, everything that makes up a person. The whole being, inside and outside. It's the uh, creature, the person, the appetite, and the sense of desiring the appetite of, say, the wine and the bread. That in which there is life, a living being, a living soul, and mind. The seed of feelings, desires, affections. The soul pulls everything together. So as far as it is so constituted by the right use of the aids offered it by God, it can attain the highest end and secure eternal blessedness. That's the soul. That's the entire being. This is when, when God puts his word into our mind, into uh, the words of life, including the commandments. It's, re it's regarded as a moral being designed for eternal life. A soul, as an essence which differs from the body, is not dissolved by death. Might. And it says, stay and abide. And this is the love. Walk the line. We do this with our whole being, with our heart, with our soul, with our breath, with everything. And this is the love, the agape, that we walk according to his commandments. That's the line, walking according to his commandments. Just as you have heard, this is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, that you should walk in it. That's walking the line. This is the love of God. And we will walk the line regardless of problems, challenges, and disciplines. If you love me, God says to us, you will keep my commandments. You will keep his commandments. This is the way to walk. By keeping the love and covenant by a whole being, we walk the line. 
Amen. Thank you for watching and listening. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. Because you're mine, I walk the line.